Good morning, friends. We are going to do a day in the life. Today's Saturday, and I figured this is the easiest way for me to do a day in the life for all of you. So it's Saturday. I just woke up. <laughs> and um, I'm going to make some breakfast, make some coffee, I'm going to get dressed, and I'm going to go work out. Starting a new routine today. We're going to work out and then um, do all the reseller related things as the day goes on. All right. So first, for his bear, can you tell me to go grocery shopping? I'm gonna grab some eggs here. And then, okay. some sausage. And my favorite, some Ezekiel bread. So this right here is the cinnamon raisin Ezekiel bread. Um, this is probably my favorite just because it has a little bit of variety to it. So that's that guy. These I've never tried before, but they're just all natural pork sausage. Um, and I'll probably only have one of these, maybe two. So if we look at the nutrition here, four servings. This is three pan fried links. I mean, overall, it's not too bad. Sodium's 490 is a little high, but 13 grams of protein in four. Total fat's 21, which is anticipated. Total calories, 240, which I don't, we can just block that. I never look at that, really. I'm more looking at the contents. Um, so I might have one or two of these, only because I am going to work out. I am going to lift. Um, so I will need some protein. And then for eggs, I think I'm going to scramble them today and use some of Trader Joe's Everything But The Bagel Sesame Seasoning blend with it. I have my oil heating up. Now, as I prep everything, and uh, yeah, let's do it. This is done. This is just a cold brew, which is a splash, as you saw, of the Starbucks white chocolate creamer. I'm like, I have to have a little bit of something in my coffee. I try to do it plain, but it's really hard. We have two slices of the cinnamon raisin Ezekiel bread with, um, it's just two eggs scrambled. I kind of made it into an omelet with a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of mozzarella um, sprinkled on there and then the at Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning I ended up doing three sausage links because I'm probably gonna deadlift today which means I'm gonna need some extra protein and then a little extra carb too because I am gonna be lifting and I'm going for a walk afterwards so I just added a little bit of grapes for really extra carbohydrates there but all right let's eat All right, so I guess I'll just tell you about my outfit because uh, why not? These leggings are Athleta. Can you see that? They've got little ribs on them. These are a newer style. I don't know the name of them. This is just a Walmart tank. 
these bad boys are just my Reebok walking shoes. Um, we're going to do, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes in here and then uh, go for a walk. Why are you a wild man, Leo? <laughs> All right, well, while this kitten plays in my Sabres bag, I'm going to show you guys the things that sold this week that I'm gonna package up. The first thing is a pair, I, I shouldn't say this week, my mistake. These are things that sold yesterday, so it's been 24 hours. This is a pair of Everlane, um, shoes. They're a sling back. These were mine. Um, they have a little bit of wear right there on the front, as you can see. All right. So like with work, we're not really dressing up or anything anymore. So I figured, um, you know, unless there's a meeting or something happening, I have other shoes that I can wear. I really don't need this, this style of shoe anymore. Um, so yeah, I wasn't grabbing, I wasn't gravitating towards it, wasn't grabbing it, wasn't really wearing it. So I sold them. They sold for $65, I believe. I if I'm wrong in the pricing of what these sold for, I'll I'll insert it somewhere in here, 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 wherever. Um, I'm gonna insert that for you guys. I'm just blindly doing this at the moment. Um, next up we have this third love bra i always check the intimate section for third love um this was a 36 e i just find that third love bras are, are just something that people are always really looking for this sold for 35 for 30 dollars in that range i probably paid 2.99 for this so i'll put that on the floor okay these were a pickup from a long time ago but they were only 2.99 and this is a Soul sucks. Soul cycle. Can't talk. By Lululemon. Um, these sold for thirty, which I was totally okay with because I just wanted to get rid of them. They were sitting for a while, but like I said, they didn't cost me much, so I grabbed them. And the next thing that sold are these really cool biker esque, fun, gothic. Don't even know how else to describe these. They're just really neat. They're a faux leather. New it tag, David Lerner, what is his name? David Lerner, maybe. Extra small, they were new it tag. Um, I believe they sold for 65. Again, if I'm wrong, I will insert what the prices were, but I'm pretty sure these sold for 65. I think I had them listed for 85 and they sold at $65. I think I picked these up at Savers? Salvation? One of those two. 
Um, and they were, they were two ninety nine. So that was a great flip. Anyway, Leo, those are my sales. Get away. All right. We're going we're gonna to cut this short. We got a kitten on the loose. <laughs> Crazy. So yes, I'm crying. Um, <laughs> I was just in line at the grocery store and this woman in front of me reminded me of my grandmother. And grief is like one of those weird things where it hits you at the strangest times. And I tried so hard to keep it together. The second I got in the car, I started to cry. So that's where we're at now. Um, I'm going to drive home. <laughs> See you guys back there. Okay, the hair's up. I'm going to show you some of these pieces that I got. Um, most of these are the retail store. Most of them. I think a couple of them were Poshmark purchases. But the first thing I found at the retail store are these new at tag rag and bone shorts. So I need to get these listed today. They're a size 28, so they're not a bad size. I was very excited about this. These were $4.99 on clearance. Um, so that was a no brainer to pick that up. Um, next, I might actually start doing my haul videos with this. I just got to find a way to prop this tripod in a better location so that you guys don't just see this half of me. Anyway, um, these are a We the Free, no, sorry, a Free People Movement, not We the Free. Um, and it's new at tag. These are also $4.99. These are a size small. Um, I typically don't pick up Free People Movement pieces because when I find them, they're usually marked up, but for $4.99, I figured I could take a little, little stab at these and see how it goes. I got pulled away. Um, what I was about to say is um, a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago maybe, um, I was thrifting with Lori and found these Brooks um, sports bras that I sold very quickly and got a lot of attention. So while I was at the retail store, I found a new it obviously new it tag because it's at the retail location um brooks sports bra so i was excited about that this is a size small double d e cup 34 double d or a 32 double d e which i don't know what that is um but yeah i'm excited to sell this again i sold those two sports bras for 60 dollars um so i'm hoping this is a similar sale for me. So that was exciting. Um, this next piece, I am like such a sucker for a various athletic wear and all that fun stuff. Um, these are Adidas and they're a track pant. They're like super wide leg. These were sold on ASOS. They were sold on different websites. Um, they're new at tag, right? Yeah, they knew new at tag. Um, I paid $16.99. And it looks like um, the retail price was 100 so I figured it was worth taking a chance on. Why not? Can't hurt. Even if I sell them for double my money, it was something I was worth, that was worth for me to try and just to experiment with. The next piece, this is I was excited to find. Um, it's Prana, and it's plus size. So it's a 22W, which is women's. And this piece retailed for $89. Um, the Ravina Jogger Plus. So this was really exciting to find. These were also $4.99 marked down. So yeah, I'm gonna try these out. I was actually really happy when I find plus size. I like finding plus size pieces and very good brands. Um, this next piece, I've never sold this brand before, ever, ever, ever. I have no idea how this is gonna do. Um, but this is Walter Baker, uh, and it's this military style coat, jacket, uh, and it retailed for two sixty eight. Now, of course, none of this matters. Retail price doesn't matter, right? Um, so, but when I looked it up, it looks like some of it, some of them sold for fifty, some sold for one hundred and fifty, some sold for eighty. So it's kind of all over the place. Um, show you guys these two pieces but the thing I do want to show you is all these jeans and if you follow me on Instagram you know that I came across a lot of denim all Levi's um, wedgies 501s rib cages all 
between the prices of $4.99 and $16.99. And I picked up basically every pair. Not really. Um, I was I was selective with the 501s and the wedgies. The retail price had to make sense um, because some wedgies are only valued at like $60, $68. And then some wedgies are $98. It depends on the style. So um, I definitely have way more rib cages than I do of anything else. Um, but before I show you some of those, I'm not going to show you all of them because there's just way too many and I have a lot of work to do, as you can see. A lot of work to do as you can see um, but this I do want to show you and I don't know if I'm gonna keep this for myself or if I'm gonna sell it um, we'll have to see but this is a banana Republic which there was a lot of in this store and I just don't really sell banana Republic it doesn't really move for me but this is a plus size banana Republic it's a size 20 um, this definitely runs small I'm gonna say that right now because uh, I don't generally wear a size 20 I'm usually like a 16 so um, this is the long and lean blazer, which explains to me why I had a size up to a 20, um, two tags, and it's just this really pretty plaid detailing here. Let me see if I can see that up close. It's like a salmon colored, but I think it's navy. I don't think it's black. I think it's navy. Um, but I just thought this was really pretty for the fall with a pair of jeans. So I picked it up. It was $4.99, um, but I might just list it. Because even if I make $25, $30, which I think I could probably make more with the blazer, um, you know, worth it for $4.99. To me, that's almost like a bins price. Well, bins would be less, but that's the same kind of concept, right? Um, I'll show you a few of the jeans that I have picked up. Um, these are 501 skinnies. These are the high rise. They were 26 by 28, so 26 waist, 28 inseam. This is just one of the colors. So this, for example, this 501 retailed for $98, which is why I grabbed it. Some of them, like I said, retailed for 68. And I think I did grab a couple of them just to get because they were marked down to $10.99. Um, otherwise I would not have grabbed them. This is one of the rib cages. So typically when you think of a rib cage, you're thinking of just straight denim. Well, they had um, rib cage boot um pants which i figured for the fall would be really great to grab these retailed for 108 and these are 30 by 33 so definitely for a tall person which i love selling tall um i love tall inseams i think they're great i think they sell really fast for me but i also think that if you don't need a 33 inseam you could easily cut hem, do all that fun stuff too so these are like a navy blue velour there's this velvet. I always get the confused floor and velvet. Ooh, these make the eyes look nice. <laughs> Certain colors really make the eyes pop. Uh, but yeah, I thought these were really fun. I liked these. This is the only pair that I found in this style. Um, these I paid $4.99 for. So happy about that. Um, here's another pair of ribcage jeans. These are a 25 by 27. These are the straight ankle. So these are a little different up here, the way they're designed. Um, kind of reminds me of paper bag pants, the way that it's shaped up here. And these are a darker denim. A little bit of a wider leg there. It's, it's a straight leg. And these retailed for 98. So you'll see the ribcages retail, um, all different price points. 98, I think is the lowest. And then the highest thing I saw was 128, which I think is these. Yes. So these, I don't know, because I'm not a Levi's expert, but I believe this well thread collection, which is what these rib cages are, are worth more. Um, I think it's part of their sustainable line. It is, well, Levi's in general advertises sustainable, but these are made with cotton and hemp. So um, they're a little different, but they don't have stretch to them. It's still very much like 100% cotton pant, but these are 128, as you can see there. Um, and these are 25 by 27. I have a variety of sizes. These just so happen to be 25s that I'm showing you. And that other one was a 30, but this is a straight leg. Yeah, darker wash denim. So this is another rib cage. I think I have... 10 or 15 pairs of rib cages, four pairs of wedgies, three pairs of 501s, and I also um, found Madewell, new attack, stovepipe. Um, 
jeans, which I love selling. The stovepipe I've sold before, these are 26. Then I have two 27s, I believe. One I already listed, and then there's this guy, 27. Same jean, it's the stovepipe. Um, new it tag, like I said before. These I paid $9.99 for, which is a very fair price when it comes to made well. Let me just see what I have over here. I've got a wedgie in a size 24, a wedgie in a size 29, a bunch of rib cages, rib cage, rib cage. Five one, oh, I'll show you these five ones. These five ones are nice. So I'll show you a couple of the wedgies. I also found Levi's high loose jeans, which are in the car, and Levi's balloon, balloon jeans also in the car. Um, I have about five pairs of each one of those, various sizes. And then I also have, uh, what's the other one called? Oh, Levi's dad jean, only one of those. So this is one of the wedgies. These are a size 29 skinny leg. These retail, see on these now retail for the 69.50. So these were a little less, but I figured um, having a mix of both isn't bad. And these were marked down to 10.99. So grabbed those. This pair of 501s I thought were so fun and I almost grabbed them in every size, but then I realized that the majority of them were in a size 23, so I left them. I have a really hard time selling size 23. I can sell size 24, I can sell size 25, but 23 is a really harder sale for me. Um, and I have a few pairs already in a size 23, so I tend not to pick too many up because they just sit for me. Um, but these are a size 28 by 26. These retailed for $98. And these are really fun. I really like the stripes of them. These are the by one original crop. These are high rise, straight leg. I really liked these. I think this is such a pretty pattern. Um, so yeah, these are all the Levi's that I found. There's boots, there's, there's other stuff too, but this is the majority of the stuff that I'm gonna list today, photograph today, and then have enough stuff to list. Um, I do have rib cages that are corduroy, which I thought was really fun um yeah so i need to do all this stuff unfortunately i don't have like a video camera or anything so i use my phone to take these videos on for youtube so i need to stop videoing myself and call it quits today for youtube and use my phone to take photos of all of these things <laughs> that i need to sell uh so thank you so much for coming along this journey with me today of this day in life on a Saturday, kind of a chill day. I typically don't thrift on the weekend. Um, once in a while you might find me at the thrift store, but generally I am doing work, um, doing things I need to do around the apartment, cleaning, grocery shopping, whatever, you know, all that kind of stuff. Working out is definitely coming back into my routine. And yeah, I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye.